Hi, this is Kana Babu. This is part 4 of uh, ASP.NET Get View Examples. In the last class, we discussed about how to perform um, editing operations within the grid view. We are developing the series of videos on grid view control. Part 1, I have discussed about how to display the data. Part 2, I discussed about uh, how to perform deleting operations. Part 3, I discussed about editing operations. Part 4, now I am discussing about insertion operation. That is folder template. So try to subscribe to the channel and uh, um, share the videos for more updates. So uh, in the last session, uh, but uh, before following this uh, part four, try to watch the previous video. Then you will get some more clarity. Now uh, I want to perform insertion operation within the grid view control. So if you want to insertion uh, perform insertion operation, I want to enable the footer row. So this is actual this red color is header row. Below I want to add one more row which is called as footer row. So right click, go to properties of the grid view. There you can find one property called show footer. Here you can see one property called show footer. By default it is false, make as true. So bottom uh, top level uh, uh, that uh, that is header row and bottom level is footer row. So here now what I want to do here means and um, I want to edit the templates actually. I already told you in several times in the previous sessions that grid view will display the data in um, here. If you observe a grid view, a grid view is a collection of columns, grid view comes of columns, columns comes of template fields, template field comes of item template and edit item template. Item template comes of label and edit item template comes of text box. Now, if you want to perform any uh, insertion operation within the grid view, then you have to add one more template called footer template. Okay. So, I no need to write any code. I no need to modify the code in source code. Because in source code, you can see only item template and edit item template. If you observe, you can see three template fields are there. Template field 1, template field 2 and what? Template field 3. Within each, every template field, you can find item template as well as edit item template. But now I want to add one more template called footer template. For that, you need to write the code manually. But without writing the code, also you can automatically generate the code. So go to design. There you can see select the grid view, ellipse button. There you can find edit templates. Now, here if you observe, here you can find uh, display. Here you can find what? Display. There you can see what? Column 0. There you can see. These are the internal columns that are available within the grid view. There you can see footer template. There you can go to your toolbox and here you can drag and drop on text box control. From your toolbox standard controls, you can see text box. So here you can drag and drop text box control from toolbox. And here you right click on text box, go to properties. There you can um, give the id modify the id of the text box so that uh, you will not confuse here i'll give the id as txt e number and uh, similarly uh, select the grid view control and again select uh, column one there you can see footer template there again you can take one more text box go to toolbox there you can drag and drop text box control right click go to properties there again you can uh, modify the id here i will give the id as txt e name and uh, similarly uh, select the column 2 column 0 column 1 and what column 2 again footer template here you can go to your toolbox here also you can drag and drop one more text box control and here you drag and drop one button control one text box control and one button control you can drag so right click on button go to properties text i'll try to give as save is it clear now the id also i will try to change so go to properties id for the text box i'll give as txt cell okay now double click on this text button and write the code actually and again go back go to your grid select ellipse button and a template editing now if you observe clearly how your grid is looking like you can see what uh, text boxes on the below and you can uh, see one button also save button also you can see now uh, 
when user clicks on button now here you can see the main part in the grid view is how to catch row index but from one event to another event the syntax to catching the row index will differ if you want to catch the row index in row deleting you have to use e dot row index if you want to catch the row index in edit in row editing event you can use e dot row index similarly if you want to catch the row index in footer row when user clicks on save button you have one predefined property that is show footer so here you can go to your logic there you can simply write the code grid view row grid view row row is equal to here i'll write something like grid view one dot footer row simple no need to write any row index will not work here our target is to catch the row index then catch the controls and catch the values and then perform the operation so i want to catch that now if you go and once check in your source code you can see one more template is added footer template for but uh, we have not written any code for this footer template just uh, we have done some uh, navigation because of that navigation only that code is generated and we have given the ids also txt e number and here if you observe within the another photo template we have given txt e name and here we have given txt cell okay so now we need to cache the text box so that are available within the photo row for that i'll write the code text box text box t1 is equal to text box of here i'll try to give so here i'll write something like text box of row dot row dot find the control of give the id properly txt e number you can ask me sir why you change it this id means because in your uh, source code you have one more text box within the edit item template also so you will confuse that is the reason i changed the id okay so similarly i want to catch another text box also so here you select control c paste it paste it. three text box i want to catch so here i'll write something like txt e name and i i think i have given the text as cell and here i will give the id t2 and here t3 now again i have to make the um, things faster i'll try to create the connection open the connection pass the query execute the query and close the connection connection architecture i'm using here so first step is create the connection and then uh, open the connection and then i want to pass the query which query i have to write here insert query so i'll declare one variable string now here i will write the query insert into what is my table name emp values of here i'll try to give single quote double quote plus here i'll give the ideas t1 dot what text comma single quote double quote plus here i'll try to give t2 dot what text comma single quote double quote plus here i'll give t3 dot what text pass the query comma com so after executing the query close the connection and again fill data because the record that was newly inserted i want to again display in the grid view in any grid view example the uh, steps are same just the query will change and the main point is how to catch row index that will play the major role from one example to another example catching the row index code will change so here i will try to insert one one more employee 104 and here i'll give some jaydeep and here i'll give some salary some uh, uh, 156789 something like that and click on save button now the salary is inserted and you can see similarly if you see any facebook comments uh, when you enter the comment in the text box automatically that comment will display on the top similar manner only 104 is already existing 105 some ram and uh, give some salary 34000 some click on save similarly here i'll try to give 106 and here i'll give some rahim and here i'll try to give some 45000 click on save like you can insert the values and test your values here i'll try to give some joseph some two three some salary click on save and here if you want to update you can update and cancel and you can delete all operations you have to perform is it clear 
so for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and facebook group and we will try to we are doing the series of videos on grid view that we are continuing the next session catch you later